Hey guys, it's Adam. Um, and today's video is going to be uh, another story time video. Um, and this one's going to be um, like a crazy grinder experience, I would say. Um, sorry, I have, still have bed hair, so my hair is sticking up. Just got out of bed. But I needed to make this video because this happened very recently, like two days ago recently. So yeah, I'll just go right into the story. So around like a year ago, my friend introduced me to Grinder. Like we were at a party and he showed it to me. And he was like, look, there's a couple people here that like are on here, like fuck. And they're showing it to me and shit. And I was like, oh, well, like I would never use like an app like that, like just to hook up. Like I'm not like that. Like I don't like that kind of shit. I have too much anxiety to actually <clears throat> get myself ready and prepared to go meet a stranger and just fuck them instantly. And sometimes you don't even know what they look like. Like fuck that. Like I'm not doing that, you know? Like that shit's so weird to me. So I downloaded it though. Like, even though, like, I was like, uh, I still downloaded it. I wanted to try it out. And, uh, I barely used it for the first, like, few months. Like, for a few months, I didn't use it at all, really. Like, I'd go on it once in a while. Um, but yeah. Um, and then, out of nowhere, this dude messages me. Um, like, I get random messages from dudes, that, like, once in a while. But this one just, like, really caught my attention because. He was, like, really persistent. He kept asking me for nudes, and he was just so persistent about it. Like, literally asking me over and over again. So then I'd be like, no, like, fuck you. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, bye. And then, um, a couple weeks later, the same fucking dude messages me asking me the same shit. And I'm like, bruh, can you, like, not, like, fuck out of here? So I blocked him because, like, ew. Then, like, a few, like, probably, like, a month after that, which is probably a couple months ago, maybe one or... I know it's over a month, maybe two ish, I don't know. So, um, then this dude ends up messaging me and he says like starts flirting with me, like you know, like being really sweet, like being like you're so cute, like fuck, I just wanna get to know you, like please, like, can we meet up? Like you're perfect, blah blah blah, like being so sweet, like ah. Uh. So I was like, Oh my god, like okay, like what's up? <laughs> and but then, but still, at the same time, I was hesitant as fuck, because it's grinder. like, I'm not trying to get, like, raped, like, I don't know if this dude's just trying to say shit to me just because he wants to fuck me or something, so I was like, fuck, like, this is cool, and this dude's cute, he's around my age, a little older, like, I like older guys, but at the same time, like, no, <laughs> like, it's grinder. so I was like, fuck this, at the same time, so I was hesitant, but I was still talking to him for, like, a few weeks. Actually, this happened probably like a month and a half ago that he messaged me. So I was talking to him for a few weeks, like on and off, a couple weeks on and off. Then we started talking more and more, and he started actually just seeming like genuine. And like we were getting to know each other a lot. Like I was telling him a lot about me, like probably like all like all everything that's like happening in my life. He knows about and like basic information, like around where I live, like where I work, where I go to school, where everything, you know. So yeah, like, we were just, like, talking a lot, and then it went into, like, us talking on the phone some, and that was, like, actually, like, really great. Like, I, like, actually really like talking to this guy, and he seemed really, like, sweet and, like, genuine, so I was, like, finally thinking about, like, maybe meeting up with him sooner, sooner or later, you know? But yeah, so then, um, around a few weeks ago, I went to a party with my friends, and I saw the guy there that, um introduced me to Grinder in the first place and uh he was there and shit and like we were talking and I was telling him about like oh shit like hey like I didn't tell you like I actually use this now and I actually met someone up here and everything and he was like oh really like fuck show me like I want to see like your profile and I want to see who the guy you're talking to and all this stuff plus he was like a fucking pro Grinder user like fuck but yeah so he wanted me to show him so I showed him and he was like and I was like, what? <laughs> like, what are you freaking out about? He was like, oh my god, like, this dude used to message me too. And, like, he used to message a lot of, like, my friends and a lot of people that I know from around here and try to get with them too. Like, saying almost the same shit, not to make you feel like shit. And I was like, oh my god, fuck. So I'm dealing with this fucking straight up whore that likes fucking with every dude around here. Like, fuck my life. He's probably lying about a lot of the shit he's saying. 
So I confront him about it. So I was like, hey, listen, I just talked to my friend. You're a piece of shit. You've been lying to me probably about everything. You have been talking to a lot of different guys, and you used to talk to a lot of different guys. Like, I'm just tell me, like, the truth now. He was like, no, that's not how it is. Like, yes, I used to talk to a lot of guys. I'm not like that anymore. Um, I'm getting a little bit older, which he's only 22. So he says he's only 22. So I was like, oh, okay, like, whatever, like, fuck, I'll, like, kind of believe you, but then again, I kind of don't, and, like, I was like, you know what, I don't even want to deal with this shit, like, I'm done, and he was like, no, like, can we please meet up, like, I know, like, you, you've been waiting to meet up, like, can we just meet up so we can talk about this, and I just really want you to see, like, I'm genuine, like, once you see me in person, you'll see that I am a genuine person, and I was like, fuck it, okay, no, <laughs> like, I still, I was like, no, I am not meeting up with you, like, fuck out of here, I'm over it. But then, like, at the same time, another part of me was like, what if he is genuine? What if he really is gonna be nice and sweet to me in person? But I still was like, thank God. Thank God I wasn't stupid, and I still want, like, with my heart and my instincts, my, like, instincts inside, or else I probably would have been killed. But anyways, let's keep going on with the story. Um, yeah, so I was like, no, fuck that. Like, I'm not meeting up with you. And then, um, yeah, we stopped talking, I blocked him, blocked his number, blocked him, like, on Grinder, on Kick, all this shit, like, I had a couple things that, like, I talked to him off of, but then, yeah, um, a few weeks later, um, I was working, which was two days ago, um, I was working, and, like, I was, I work at a restaurant, alright, and, like, I do a few jobs there, like, I'll host, which I started off as, I'll host, and I'll do busing, which is cleaning tables, hostings, like, you know, like, seating people, and I'll also serve there, like, I'll be, like, a server, like, a waiter, you know? But I was actually hosting, and this guy comes up to me, and I'm, and he's like, hey, and I'm like, hi, how many? And he's like, hey, Adam, and I'm like, what? Like, how do you know my name? Like, I don't have my name tag on. Like, I don't wear my name tag when I host. Like, what's good? Like, but then in my mind, I'm like, oh, he must be a regular customer. Like, just knowing my name. Like, whatever. Fuck it. Like, I don't think that's weird. But I'm still like, what? And this is where this shit gets so weird. He's like, hey, um, I'm the guy off of Grinder that you've been talking to. And let me tell you what this dude looks like. He's like this... He's white, whatever, we got that part right, but the rest, no. He totally fucking lied to me about everything else. He's like in his 50s, the motherfucker has straight up white ass hair, literally straight white, and he's fucking 50 years old, like fuck, ew. I mean, I'm not trying to say like old people are disgusting and white hair is gross, like sorry, like I'm not trying to disrespect anyone, but like, this dude told me he was 22 years old, 22. 22 years old and this motherfucker's like a dad like he's a legitimate fucking dad like oh my god how does this shit happen to me like so I'm just like for a few seconds I'm just like looking at him like check like not checking him out like ooh I wanna fuck this dad like ooh Delph but like checking him out like trying to see like is this dude for real like are you fucking serious so I'm like and then I not run, because I don't want to make a scene, but, like, I walk away really quick down towards, like, where the workers can kind of go, like, in the kitchen. And I was like, oh, my God, I was talking to my manager. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, and I'm, like, hyperventilating. I'm like, oh, my God, this dude's, like, harassing me. Like, this is serious. Like, I'll tell you the story, but can you please get him the fuck out of here? Like, get him out of here. So I made my manager go up there, tell the guy, like, hey, you have to leave. Like, you're making problems with, um my workers and I can't have that happening while shit's going on like while he, they're on the clock and he's on the clock you're fucking with them bye well she didn't exactly say that kind of shit like you know she was being professional about it and he was like no like I really want to talk to him and I was like fuck you I'll call the cops on you right the fuck now bye like ew you lied to me you're disgusting like bye <laughs> so he ended up leaving and it was just really scary I almost had a fucking anxiety attack in there, like, it was just so scary. 
I never really told my manager what happened because like, like that's kind of like personal, but I was just telling her that it was a bad dating app experience and that he just lied to me. I pretty much was catfish. So yeah, um, I deleted Grinder that night because I was like, fuck this, which was a night ago or two. I was like, fuck this, I am not using this app anymore, like, this could happen to anyone, this could happen to me again, like, I bet you mad dudes just go out and do this kind of shit, like, and a lot of people are gullible, and I'm not that gullible, and I actually believed him, so, imagine, like, more gullible motherfuckers going on grinder, and, like, who knew his attentions, like, he could just wanted to fuck me, so I could have been raped if I actually met up with him, or he could have wanted to literally fucking kill me. Or maybe he was legit genuine about everything besides what he fucking looked like and like how old he was and I don't know. I'm just rambling now. Um, but yeah, this video wasn't too long and well, that's good. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave some feedback down there. I know there's not that many people watching me but... I never know. Leave some feedback down there if you guys can, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.